which we shall win the peace. Radar, once a top secret, is still a mystery to most people. Special pictures now help to elucidate the device which did more to win the war than any other scientific development. The cathode ray tube, such as is used in television, is the heart of radar. It acts as a screen, registering radio short waves transmitted by the sender. When the waves strike an object, like a plane, they are reflected back, are picked up and recorded. On the diagram, the peak shows the distance the plane is from the transmitter. Its course and speed are registered and measured. Radar picks up all planes, but it enables you to distinguish enemy aircraft by the constant unvarying pattern. Allied planes are equipped with apparatus that varies the oscillation. Radar rapidly became an all-purpose device. One plane could spot every ship in an enemy fleet or convoy. The magic eye misses nothing. It shows vessels approaching, it indicates whether they're to port or starboard, it can see through clouds or fog or night, it produces special patterns for islands, headlands and so on. In Radar 2, the Navy had a super rangefinder. The captain of a ship sends out an invisible feeler in any direction. This may detect a plane, a vessel or land. According to the speed with which the wave comes back, so the distance of the object is registered. Radar won its fame in wartime, but it's a war invention that's come to stay. Here's a chart of the Thames estuary, just one of the crowded sea routes where radar will continue to prove invaluable. In daylight and clear weather, aids to navigation in such a sea lane are numerous and effective. 